Hello and welcome to my channel, On the Hood Crochet, where we talk about wearable crochet style. And today, let's find out what's on the hook. Today, I would like to welcome you. If you're new here, thank you for joining me and all of our other community members in On the Hook Crochet, our Facebook group, our Instagram group, and also um, our YouTube video community. We appreciate your being here. I do, and I want you to come back and see me. I'm here to inspire you in your crochet journey, in your wearables, to make sure that you can crochet something for your wardrobe. Now, we also talk about other things things here, uh, including diamond painting, and we also talk about uh, maybe an afghan here and there. There's one right there behind me. That's an Annie's afghan that I made uh, last season, and I really enjoyed doing that. It was a step-by-step. -step. For me, there were a lot of things in there I'd never done before, but I shared that with you on some videos, and that playlist you can find on my channel. So uh, I hope you'll go there if you're interested in afghans. Um, I'm working on a striped afghan now and every now and then I'll put out a video about my progress with that particular Annie's um, crochet afghan. So there you go. That's what I'm working on. And uh, my diamond painting, I'll have an update about that here in just a few minutes. But I wanted to talk to you about uh, someone else in the YouTube community. That would be Juan the Yarn Addict. And Juan the Yarn Addict has a, a big community and there are people that follow him and watch him. Uh, he puts out a video often, way often, more often than I do. But I wanted to give him a shout out because he gave me a shout out on his channel the other day. So thank you, Juan. I appreciate it. I uh, hope you'll watch some of my videos as I've been watching yours and they are kind of fun. I remember the last one I watched, you were bagging up yarn and I watched the entire thing. I was crocheting at the time and I just thought that was so interesting how you were bagging up um, your uh, cache of uh, yarn and and i've got a lot of yarn but i've never bagged it up so that kind of inspired me to do that so uh welcome to my channel one and to your subscribers if you want to join me you are welcome to it the uh link is down in the description box uh, for my community it's free to join and you'll get first notice of the patterns that i release and also any um, items of interest that uh, come to me i'll send them on to you so there you have it well, today is my rollout of my newest pattern, and that pattern is called the Granny Square Boxy Top. This is it right here. You'll see it on my Etsy channel. And um, I want you to know that it is not difficult to make. <laughs> I'm only using two colors in the Granny Squares, but they're in a different order. So I have uh, the order in the pattern if you want to follow that, if you're using like uh, red and black, or if you're using um, yellow and white, or something real muted, or pink and white for Easter, or whatever you want to do. Um, I made this um, with Lion Brand Respun 100% Recycled Polyester. Some of you may be interested in doing that. That is a totally recycled uh, yarn. It is very easy to crochet with. It, it doesn't split. It, nothing happens when you, uh, when you crochet with it, except that it makes a really nice stitch. If you'll see, there's um, plenty of stitch definition in these granny squares. They're very beautiful. They turned out really nicely. And I was just inspired by the two colors. And this is the other color. This is called Sahara. This is kind of a goldish yellow. And this is called Amber, and that is a little bit more of a rust color. Um, they're a little bit have a little bit of a halo on them, but it doesn't detract from the design So let me stand up and I'll show this in full view. Well, here's the granny square boxy top um, in all its glory <laughs> There are a lot of squares in this, and I tried to design it so that it wasn't garish, that it was uh, kind of a classy look. I'm, I'm um, looking forward to wearing it. I found some pants in my wardrobe that were a similar color to the amber that I used in the granny square. So um, I have those on today with some gold strappy sandals, and this is a pretty nice look. The gold matches the gold in the granny square, so I figure I'm good to go. <laughs> Here, there's the back of it. And um, as you can see across the top, I use the same order of granny squares across the top and I sprinkle them around through the, the, the sweater, all around the sweater. Um, there were four different styles of granny squares and this is the accent granny square right here in the front. It is uh, not outlined in the amber color. It is all um, Sahara except for the very center of it and so I put that right here as an accent granny square uh, you don't have to do that but I thought it was a nice look so this is the granny square boxy top you can find it on my Etsy shop and I hope you like it 
this is uh, a pretty nice uh, yarn. I dropped some of it there. <laughs> this is a pretty nice yarn. I like it okay. It is not as soft as I thought it would be, but actually it is pretty soft. After you wear it for a little while, it's not scratchy or itchy or anything like that. Now, um, I did go about this last week. I showed you in detail on Crystal. Uh, my beautiful little dress form that the detail but I wanted to show you this is up close this is the neckline edging that I use around the neck and I also used it around the arm it's like a cap sleeve you can make the arms longer if you just want to sew I mean if you just want to crochet more rows on the arm you can certainly do that and I also used it around the hem of the sweater so um, it was it's not difficult to do but it does add quite a bit it gives it a little bit of a softer look the design element is the the scallop or the shells around the edge because the granny squares are straight there's a lot of a lot of lines in here straight lines and I use that as a design element to soften the lines just a little bit I also between the granny squares I used a lacy join this is not a standard join most people don't use this but I thought Thought it was a nice look it, it's done with the sahara color all through here except for the sleeve hem the the shoulder seams excuse me the shoulder seams are done uh with uh, a slip stitch and let's see the side seams are also done with a slip stitch so uh, i did all kinds of different things here all that is in the pattern so you'll see that there and i hope you like it i do I've, I've gotten used to it i've tried to match things up if you'll notice the shoulders are done with the same order of granny square these are the same granny square so i mix it up a little bit here but then i have the accent granny square here so i tried to organize it so that it looks um organized <laughs> granny squares that aren't organized they worry me a little bit although i have a pattern in the works that i'm going to show you the whip for the colors look really pretty together but they're not in this kind of order this is more of an orderly granny square top and it's only done in two colors and you can of course do that in 10 colors if you want to but i use two colors to keep it kind of uh keep it subtle that's the word i'm looking for while we're talking about this i have a whip in the works and i can't remember for the life of me if i showed this to you last week and i apologize if i've already shown it but uh, this is a granny square top as well and it's not quite as ordered as this one but um, i want to show you the different squares here um, let me get to them here's one square this is a pink and blue yellow and then the um, the main color is the taupe color the bone color around the edge this is Karen Simply Soft. All the colors are Karen Simply Soft. Here's one with uh, kind of a wine color with yellow. The uh, taupe color there and then a blue center. I thought that was pretty. And then there's another one here with a peach color. And I've introduced peach here. And the wine, two colors of blue. The light or the medium and the dark. And then, of course, the taupe color around the edge. And then last but not least is this one, which is one of my favorites. This is the taupe color in the middle with the yellow around it then blue and peach so I think those are really beautiful squares these are large squares these are six inches wide and I'm going to make a top with these and it's just going to have long sleeves around top and around neckline excuse me around neckline and then just done in granny squares and the connecting color and the main color is of course the taupe around the edges and I've used some of it inside the granny squares to kind of bring it together so um, I'll be bringing that to you soon enough again this is done with Karen Simply Soft yarn it is so soft I just I just love this this is called Sunshine is very beautiful yellow uh, that I found at Joann's I bought all the colors at Joann's Joann's is having a little bit of financial trouble right now. They filed for bankruptcy. I don't know what kind it is. Mr. On the Hook was trying to explain it to me, but uh, I didn't really catch it. It's a, a certain type of bankruptcy where they can keep their stores open. So if you have a chance to go to Joann and buy something, you'll be helping them out um, quite a bit. So there you go. I'm going to have a shop update at the end of my show today so uh, you can uh, see what I have, everything I have on my Etsy shop. So I'll do that later on, but Crystal's going to model something that I found in my closet from last year. And this was, this was crocheted with Knit Crate 
um, a linen size two yarn and I'm just not used to using that but it is so beautiful oh by the way I want to tell you this granny square boxy top I used a size G hook very small hook but it made the squares um, dense and so I didn't have to wear a tank top underneath this so I was kind of excited about that this will make it easy for me to just throw it on in the summer and wear it with a pair of jeans or something so anyway I wanted to show you this this is the Sunday sweater and I made this last year and I just thought this was so beautiful in my closet I found it and I thought I need to show that because there are several design elements on here I want to show you make your sweater uh, fancy <laughs> for want of a better word to make your sweater special maybe I should use that word special it's got a three by one rib all around the neck and it's a wide rib it's probably an inch and a half wide and what happened with this one is uh, a little story I made the neckline to right here this is where you uh, crochet the, to the neckline and then you add the rib later and when I stopped crocheting here it was just a little bit too low so I had to crease the rib uh, to where it was more comfortable for me in the front and you don't have to add that much rib um, this is a rib that's about an inch wide on the sleeve this is a three by one as well and it's beautiful rib it's very special looking it lays nicely on the end of your sleeve so you might try that sometime when you're using a small yarn a three by one rib is very special and beautiful um, and this yarn is of course very gorgeous this is a tonal yarn from knit crate and i'm sad that they went out of business so be sure to make a trip to joann's anyway the back is just plain double crochet beautiful though look at the yarn what a special yarn will do for just a uh, it's a, a plain pattern like this there's also a three by one rib along the bottom as well so it took about 1200 yards of this size 2 uh, yarn and uh, I crocheted it again I crocheted it with a G hook so uh, I don't have to wear a tank top under it though it's very nicely done it's dense enough so I don't have to wear a shirt underneath it and it fits really nicely also the sleeves are crocheted right into the front and the back fabric so you don't have to add sleeves or make a hem here or make a seam here or anything like that the um, the sleeves are crocheted right into the fabric see that right there they're crocheted right in and it makes the pattern a lot easier a lot fewer steps to make it so I thought you might like that this is what it looks like on my Etsy shop it's the Sunday sweater and there I am wearing it and the neckline is okay right there but it wasn't to begin with I had to do an ad lib on this to make it right so the next time I crochet this I'll probably crochet it a little bit higher and then add a smaller rib at the top but I kind of like the wide rib it makes it look very special I have a couple of more whips to show you but before that I want to take you to my diamond painting easel and show you the progress I've made on St. Andrew here's my diamond painting progress for this week I wanted to show you this as I made quite a bit of progress actually the last time we saw each other was right here and now I've moved across here finished this row and now I'm up on this row and I'm working on this square right there and let me show you see you can see there are some squares with still with the symbols in there and those are the ones I haven't finished yet but I'm doing this one right now and back up a little bit you can see what I've done so far I'm really excited see I don't have that much farther to go I'll be when I finish this row I'll be about halfway finished with this diamond painting and right now I wanted to show you this I have a a light uh, behind it it's a it's a, um, a little light pad behind it and that helps me see the diamond painting a lot easier if you don't have one you might want to uh, purchase one if you're a diamond painter because it makes the diamond painting so much easier. I mean, really so much easier. The, uh, the symbols are much easier to see and you don't have to use a magnifying glass or anything like that to see um, the difference in the different symbols. Some of them are very similar to each other, so you have to be careful not to mix those up. But that's it with the light on, so you can see where it doesn't have the light right up here. And I use that and I slide it back and forth. I slide it over here when I'm using it uh, behind this part of the painting. So it slides very easily on the easel, which I have right here. It has a little lip here that the light uh, pad uh, sits on. It's called Crafty Mint. I don't know if they even make these in that brand anymore, but 
Um, you can find a light pad on Amazon. They're very easy to find. So I just wanted to show you the progress I've made on my St. Andrew diamond pad. I hope you like that. It's just really short. Just wanted to show you how far I've gotten on that particular diamond painting. I can't wait till I finish it and hang it up in the little boy's room upstairs and that'll be fun. We'll have a good time looking at St. Andrew and talking about his life. So Mr. On the Hook has been very busy. As you know, he's been designing things for me uh, for my Etsy shop and he also redesigned my business cards. And those of you who have uh, received a giveaway or uh, some kind of shipment from me or bought something from me, I usually send a, uh, a business card and a note on the back of one of my special postcards. And I do that um, as, as often as I can. And if those of you who have received it, remember that I have this stripey, pink stripey on the hook crochet um, business card and cards. And he's designed one for me that is a little bit prettier. This is the business card and it is the on the hook crochet business card in the wildflower uh, version and I really like it. I think it's beautiful. It's got a little bit of a pink background, very, very subtle and uh, my logo up there without the square around it is just kind of floating in the air and then the wildflowers at the bottom and these are designed by an artist. As you can tell, they're very, very beautiful and he found uh, this artist and they designed this and we're just, I'm just excited he's putting this on several things that um, I have out there for y'all. This is the business card and it, of course on the back it tells you how to find me, where all the different places are you can find me. And then this is my thank you card. Um, I put this in a lot of my uh, shipments out, whatever they are, if they're a, a Port Authority project bag or maybe even a... Um, a giveaway, I always put one of these in there. So he's redesigned that for me. Isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful. Um, I love that artwork. But anyway, he's been a busy bee. As you know, since he retired, he's been helping me quite a bit. So I thank Mr. On the Hook for that. Now back to my whips. I want to show you this. This is a summer vest that I have started making. And I'm just loving this. It's going to have to be worn over a little short sleeve tee or a tank top, either one. And this is what the stitch looks like. It's very, very nice. It's like very summery. And I am to the underarms right now. So I'm going to, um, this is just the back. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. So I will cut right here and go uh, up to the back and then I'll make the front as well. But um, I'll, I'll have that pattern out before too long. It's not going to be very um, difficult at all. Pretty easy. I'm making it with the J hook, my favorite hook of all time. And I'm also making it from Big Twist from Joanne. It's their store brand. It's 100% anti-pilling acrylic. And this is the color, I think it's cream. Yes, the color cream, C-R-E-A-M. And of course, it's Big Twist Living is the brand of the Big Twist. So it's called Living. Some of them are not called Living, but this is so very, very soft. I just love this. Now, all of their Big Twists might be soft like this. I don't know. I, I guess I've never really paid that much attention to them. But there's there are a lot of yards on the ball, and they're not expensive. I think I got this on sale. This is a size 4, of course. There are 200 yards on this. So I've, I got this on sale, and so the whole vest is going to cost very, very little. I think I bought four uh, skeins of this, and I won't, probably won't need all four skeins because I'm going to make it, you know, sleeve is going to be a little vest. So that's what I'm working on on the Joanne yarn. So be sure to make a trip over there and help them out. And we don't want them to close their doors. Um, we need several big box stores. Now I know Walmart in some areas has a huge yarn department. Mine has maybe 25 feet on one side. That's it. it. There's hardly anything there. And it's not very well stocked and I'm very disappointed about that. I'm sure all the Walmarts are not like that. But the one that is near me, that's how it is there. And I just really am sad to see that. But we need Joanne and we need Michaels and we need Hobby Lobby. So we want to keep those stores open if possible. So again, that big twist is from Joanne and I'm really loving that yarn. I'm loving it. Now, I've not washed it or done anything with it, but I have crocheted with it and it crochets very, very easily. So you might give big twist um, a little bit of a uh, some help and go buy two or three of those and make a, a top with them or something like that. You know, it might be nice uh, to whip up a top 
I saw some really pretty big twists there last time I was there, and I didn't pick it up. I should have. It was almost like a speckledy uh, colored yarn. They had all different colors in there, and um, I may go back and get some of that. Now that I know they're in trouble, I may go back and, and help them out by buying some yarn. So um, that's what I'm making my little summer vest in the Big Twist Cream colorway. Now, one more whip before I take you to the giveaway portion of our show. Uh, this right there is my shawl collar cardi. I released that a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago, I guess, and a lot of you liked it. It's so beautiful on, and it's a cozy, cozy um, cardigan, and it's made with puzzle shimmer. That one is in the checkers color. Puzzle shimmer, puzzle, very nice yarn. I noticed that one of the yarn had... <laughs> <laughs> was bagging up a lot of the puzzle and I really like puzzle but this is what it looks like on my Etsy shop it's the shawl collar cardi and um, I'm going to be wearing that in the spring in fact I wore it last week and um, really enjoyed it it was real cozy and I love the look of it it's uh, the colors are very muted uh, it's a little stripey but it's okay for me it's not a definitive color change in between the stripes so they kind of blend into each other it's not too bad so uh, in my craziness I went to uh, I think it was Joanne where I found some more puzzle and I bought some blue and I think I showed this to you last week but I'm making the same shawl collar cardi out of the blue puzzle and uh, there's one sleeve I'm working on I've already finished the other one here's my here's one sleeve and I finished that. There it is. It's a little bit stripy, but it's okay. And then I haven't put the collar on it yet. So I, I have one more sleeve I'm working on. And then I'll be finished pretty much with it. It won't take me long to put the collar on. Uh, most of the work is in the, uh, the body of the sweater. Now the body of the sweater here is uh, crocheted from the bottom up, all in one piece. So you, there are no seams in this, um, in this cardigan except... I think at the top shoulder, yes. Along the shoulder area, there is one seam on each side, but that's it. That's the only seam in this. Um, everything is done all in a, a circle. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to crochet. I used a, an L hook for this, and the, uh, the size of this, I believe, is a five bulky. So uh, it crochets so quickly. I made a sleeve in one day. I think it was one day I did the whole sleeve. And uh, as I always tell you in my patterns to mark your, um, mark your decreases. And I'm going to show you something right now because somebody asked me about this. When I say to put it around the post, let's turn it this way. Say you're crocheting along this way from here to there. And you're crocheting along and you decrease right here two stitches together. And I put this around the post. See, I've put it around the post so I can see exactly where that decrease is on this row. See, I don't put it at the top of the stitch. I put it around the middle of the stitch so that I can find that decrease. And so when I go to make my other sleeve, and I have made some changes in this. I missed a row, so I think I just did a regular row and then I decreased on the next row. So I'm going to make it exactly like this one. And when I look back, I can see what row I'm on and where I did my decreases on there. And then my other sleeve will look exactly like the first sleeve. And that's what you want. You want consistency and you want one sleeve to mirror the other sleeve. So that's just a little tip from me. This is the yarn I used, uh, Premier Puzzle, 328 yards of a size five on the skein. And this colorway is called Seashore, Seashore. So if you're looking for it, that's it. It's really beautiful made up. I like it. It's very, very soft yarn. Everybody loves Premier Puzzle that I know. And nobody's really said anything bad about it. So um, I thought I would try it again and I'm really enjoying crocheting with that particular yarn. Now we're talking about giveaways and I am giving away two packages of ice yarn. This is a kind of a taupe color yarn with a little bit of yellow woven around it. It's really kind of pretty. It's called Argento and I don't know a whole lot other than that because they don't really say a lot about their yarns on the outside. You have to just get in there and try them. So there are eight skeins in there so that will go to the um, first gift winner and the, I'll use the word ice for this one and ice for the next one as well. So there'll be two winners for ice yarn this week. That's one and then this one is the black and white ice and it's a tiny little yarn but it's very interesting looking i think you'll probably like it just for something fun to do this is uh two 
four, six skeins of ice yarn and a package and the next person that I pick with the ice in their comment will win that. Again, I'm giving away a frog and finish Mary Maxim brickwork afghan and it's about a third of the way through. Um, this is a picture of it right here. I really love it. I love it. I wanted it and I started making it and I lost interest because I think I did it all wrong and I was going to have to frog it out. You can certainly take what I've done and continue on with it or you can rip it out. As I said last week, the mortar is wrong. I don't think this is correct. I think I did it wrong and I just kept doing it wrong and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give that away. So that's what I'm doing today. That's going to a person that wrote the word brick in their comment from last week. So there you go. Now, last but not least, I have a pattern booklet. Here it is for the easiest sweater. This is one of my pattern booklets. I usually sell these on Amazon. You can find them out there if you want to. The storefront will be down in the description box if you're looking for a pattern booklet with the pattern written in inside with all the same as the one on Etsy, but this is already printed. It's in booklet form, so you don't have to print it on your printer. So this one is available as are several others out there. We're working on getting a lot of the patterns out. We probably won't do them all, but um, all my newest ones are out there. So this is the easiest sweater and it is the easiest sweater I've ever made. I mean, it's a wonderful sweater and uh, I think you'll like it. It's it, for beginners, but if you're advanced, you can whip through it very quickly and add some of the optional uh, stitches that I put in there and the optional ideas that I give you in there too to add on to the easiest sweater. So this is going to the person who wrote the word booklet in their uh, comment last week. So let's turn the camera to the computer and find out who wins these gifts this week. Okay, here we are at the computer and I have entered the address of the video uh, from last week in here and I've typed in the word ice. So let's see who our first winner is for the ice yarn. And I'm in a little bit of a hurry because I, my YouTube video is going to be kind of long, so I want to be sure I get these done. These are the, this is the winner for the ice yarn, and I don't know which one. I'll just pick one and send it. And this is the winner, Galway Creations. Galway Creations, you have won one of the uh, types of ice yarn. <laughs> I will send it to you. All right, let's go back up here. Oh, we've used the ice yarn already. All right, so let's do it again. All right, and let's go down here and find another winner. See if it's the, a different one. Otherwise, I'll have to do this again. So the winner is, here's some confetti coming. Here it comes, there it is. And the winner is R-E-I-K-I-1-1, Riki-1-1, Riki-1-1. You have ice in your comment. There you go. So you are the winner of the second ice package of yarn. Well, congratulations, Riki11. All right, let's go back up here, and we're going to change this word to brick. And this is the person who's going to win the Frogger Finish Brick Afghan from Mary Maxim. All right, let's go down here and get the comments for that. And a lot of you wanted that one, so let's go down here and... Find the winner of the Brick Afghan from Mary Maxim. Here we go. There's the confetti. The winner is Just Me and Crochet. <laughs> it's cute. Just Me and Crochet is the winner of this particular uh, Frog and Finish Afghan from Mary Maxim. So congratulations to you. Now let's go back up here. Sorry, I keep scrolling. Sorry, here we go. And this is booklet, and that is going to be the winner of the pattern booklet for the easiest sweater. So let's go over here and find out. Here are the comments. I'm still new at this, so bear with me. Okay, so let's go down and pick a winner for this one. This is for the pattern booklet from Amazon, already printed. You don't have to print anything. For the easiest sweater. And there's the winner. The winner is Gianna Enjoys Crochet. crochet sorry. Gianna 
maybe Gianna enjoys crochet, you are the winner of the pattern booklet. So congratulations to you and to everyone who won today. And thank you for playing. Congratulations to our winners. Please send me an email with the word winner in the subject line and tell me what you won and your name and address. And I will get those out to you as soon as possible. Now for the gifts for the next week. Uh, be sure to use the keyword in your comment and you'll be uh, up for the up for winning one of these gifts next week. This is the Inspirations Red Heart uh, Granny Square All in One yarn, and this is the yarn that I use to make that tote. See it hanging right there? That's my Granny Square tote. You can find it in my Gifts and Home section, I think, uh, on my Etsy shop. But I made that with this yarn. I made that with this yarn, exact yarn. This is the Black Dove colorway and I really liked it. I, I bought two of them and I didn't really need to. I only needed one. So I used black uh, Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver to do the edging around the granny squares there and to also make the um, the handle at the top. So uh, that's what I used. You know, she probably, some, probably have some black uh, Red Heart sitting around or you can go buy some. It's not very expensive at all. Um, maybe go to Joann's and buy one. <laughs> Anyway, this is up for grabs next week, and uh, I hope you win it. If you want to be up for the running, use the word red in your comment, the word red in your comment, and you'll be in the running for that gift next week. Also next week, I have another Crochet World. I actually found this. Probably Mr. Ellen Hook brought this in from the mailbox, and I just forgot to look at it. It was on my shelf up there, and uh, I found it this morning, so I thought I'm going to put that in the gift um, group for next week. This is the Crochet World from Winter of 23, so it was just, you know, a couple months ago. And, you know, I like to collect winter uh, patterns because when I'm doing something for winter, I'm going to start it in the summertime, so that's coming up. Anyway, this is the Crochet World, and there are all kinds of beautiful patterns in here. Here is a uh, collage of all the patterns that are in this particular magazine. There are all kinds of gifts in here you can make for people or make things for yourself. So that is in this magazine, and use the word world right there. Use the word world in your comment, and you'll be up for the gift next week, this particular gift next week. So you can choose which one of these or all of them that you want to sign up for. This is some um, yarn from... Uh, little Grandma Kim, and I appreciate her again. Uh, she sponsored this piece of our giveaway. This is the Baby Alpaca, and it's 100% Baby Alpaca. Each, uh, each skein, or I guess these are donuts, are 50 grams, and there's one, two, three, four, five. I believe there are five in here, maybe six, but I didn't want to take it out of the package. It's Baby Alpaca in a bone color very beautiful it looks like a size two maybe a dk but it doesn't say anywhere on here so i don't know i don't know of what size it is it doesn't say but anyway it's quite beautiful i really like it and i don't have time to make it so i'm going to give this away next week and use the word baby in your comment use the word baby if you want to sign up for the baby alpaca yarn for next week. This is a size two, I believe, a size two, and it looks like it's for a baby. Look at that. That's so pretty. I really like it. I'm not really sure even what it's made from. Let me look on the, on the label. It just says turquoise blue cream and fuchsia, and Bonabon is the name of the fab, uh, the name of the yarn, but I don't know what it's made. It says 100% polyester, so there you go, 100% polyester. And there it is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I love those colors for spring and summer. Those are absolutely perfect. So use the word ice if you want to sign up for this particular yarn next week. Now, one thing that I tried to give away the other day, and the lady who won this lived in another country, and the shipping is so ridiculous, I don't send to another country, but I did give her a free pattern, and I emailed that to her, and she was very thankful for that. So, Nora, if you're watching, uh, I'm going to give this to somebody in the United States, if that's okay. So, this is the the poem, I hope my children look back on today, who, see a who remember a mother or see a mother that had time to play. There will be time for cooking and cleaning, but children grow up when you're not looking or something. I did, I did it backwards, but anyway, that's the poem that is on the canvas here. 
Um, and it's beautiful, and it's cruel embroidery. That's embroidered with wool yarn, and a tiny little wool yarn, but you embroider with it, and it looks very pretty when you get finished. So that will be going to someone, if you are interested or know someone that likes to embroider, or if you are a cruel embroiderer, then this would be great for you. I would love to give it away to someone. It also comes with the two sizes of hoops and um, all the yarn is already separated for you and everything. It's all ready to go. So um, let's, let's use the word mom for the word in our comment, M-O-M, -M, mom. And we will try to give this away next week. And if you're in the United States, I'll be glad to ship any of this yarn. But if you're out of the country and you win, that's great. And I'll just send you a pattern instead. So we'll do it that way. Now for the shop update. I uh, wanted to tell you what's out in my Etsy shop. Besides all my patterns, I have 130 patterns or so for garments. And then I also have some other things out there that are uh, inspired by my logo and one of those is of course the project bags and they are uh, from a year ago last year I was ordering them all along and I have a few of those left in white and silver and I think I have one green one left I'm not sure you can look out on my Etsy shop and it'll tell you what's available and those are made by Port Authority they're very very nice they're sturdy and they're beautiful and they have my logo embroidered on the side. So they're um, very, very special project bags. And we still have a few of those as well. But we've moved on to a different kind of bag now. This is a canvas bag. Mr. On the Hook designed these. So I wanted to show these to you. This is the Big Tote. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And we made sure that the resolution was really super duper on this. This is the wildflower design that I showed you on my business card and it has my um, logo right there without anything around it. It's just kind of floating. And then these uh, designs go all the way around and on the back is a different design. It's still the wildflowers, but it's a little bit different. And it also, uh, the design goes all the way around the bag. So it goes underneath the bottom and everything. The bottom is about a three inch gusset down here. So it will sit up. I have a very large project in here. This Remember this project we talked about earlier? Um, there are probably eight skeins of Karen Simply Soft in here, and there's plenty of room for all of that, plus my uh, granny squares that I've been making. So uh, this is a very large bag. It also has two long white um, canvas straps on it and makes it real easy to carry. They're very, they're long so that they, you know, they allow you to wear it for a, a shoulder bag if you want to carry it somewhere. So this is available on my Etsy shop right now. Um, actually, y'all have found it. <laughs> y'all found it um, last week and uh, a lot of you loved it. I appreciate that so very, very much. And then also a lot of you loved my new mug. And I have this mug, Mr. On the Hook designed this as well, because I told him I wanted things that you and I would actually use. We use a mug, we use project bags. So I wanted to be sure that he uh, created things that we could actually use. So this is the mug. I'll get it up close where you can see it. It's, uh, of course, the same design. It's got the beautiful wildflowers and they go all the way around to the other side and my logo's on both sides. So you see there? And it's also got a pretty pink handle on it. And it's pink inside, which I just loved. I saw that and I just wanted one. <laughs> so he ordered me one. And y'all are free to order one as well. And we also have one more. This is the uh, one with just my logo on it. It's very, very simple. It's got my circular logo on it. And it's on both sides. And it also has pink inside and a pink handle as well. And these are the really nice handles. They have room for all four of your fingers. And they're easy to carry and they're easy to drink from. You don't have to balance them in with two little fingers. I have to use all four anyway. So this is what it looks like uh, on the web. So I have two mugs and a tote bag and some other things out there as well. So you can just kind of glance around out there and see if you see anything. That is how you support my channel. I don't ask you to join memberships or pay monthly or anything like that. But the way to support me and help me keep going is to visit my Etsy shop. See if there's something out there you'd like. 
Now, if you remember the community, you will have gotten an email this morning and that had my new pattern rollout on it and also a very substantial offer code that you can use on any pattern in my shop for a week. So uh, that ends this weekend. So you might want to go out there and take a look. Or if you have some in the cart, a lot of people have patterns in the cart. You can go out there and get them 30% off. So just wanted to let you know that. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you're not subscribed and uh, or in the community, please do that. The links are down in the description box. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you got anything from it at all, give it a like, a thumbs up, and that tells YouTube that other people might like to see it. And also, if you share it with someone, YouTube sees that as an interest as well. So share it with a friend that maybe crochets or somebody you like and, you know, want to show them some things. Uh, about crochet or diamond painting, you can do that. So I appreciate anything that you do to help my channel out. I appreciate it so much. So thank you. Have a wonderful week and join me next time to find out what's on the hook.